Hi, welcome back to Paint with Josh. Today we did a 16 by 20 inch black canvas with just three colors, blue, black, and white. Did a nativity scene, maybe a couple days before Jesus' birth. That's why it's still empty. I'm not the best at painting people. You all know that. I do landscapes and buildings, right? Sort of. Sort of buildings. So, it's three days before Christmas. Are you finished shopping? Because I'm not. I'm just, I'm going to send everyone texts this year, I think. <laughs> Starting with Dean. Merry Christmas, Dean. Uh, this is the, uh, the last art off of the year between Scenescape Shop and myself. Uh, I hope to come away with a victory, and that means you need to go to the Bob Ross Oil Painting for Beginners group and uh, vote on your favorite. Go over and watch Dean's video, watch my video, decide who you like the best, and give me your vote. Thank you very much. I'd love to end the, end the year on a victory, and I know Dean is hoping for the same thing. So get your canvas nice and wet, throw your blue on, and get ready to paint. We're going to do it just like. Ho, ho, this! Hey guys, Merry Christmas. It's almost Christmas, three days away. Are you ready? Are you, are you, have you finished shopping? Because I sure haven't. So what I've done is taken a 16 by 20 inch black canvas, covered it with Bob Ross Liquid Clear. We wiped it off with a paper towel in one direction, one directional swipes, right? Uh, and then we came back with phthalo blue and covered the entire canvas. You almost need the same amount of pile that's right here as you do to cover the canvas. It takes a lot of paint. If you want it to be really, really blue, uh, when you start to mix it with your white paint, then you're gonna need a lot of blue to start, right? So we have our, our phthalo blue, midnight black, uh, titanium white, in this Christmas art off against Dean from Scenescape Shop. You're going down, buddy. I've had this idea, sort of. You guys know me, I don't really plan my paintings out, but yeah, I've had an idea and I'm gonna try to recreate it in front of you right now with very few edits, right? All right, let's do this. We're gonna paint mainly with white paint today. And we're gonna watch all this blue appear. And the more white that we use, the brighter, you know, the less blue it is and the more white it's gonna be. So I really wanna pull it out and get it down, really spread it out. Cause I only want a little, little bit. And it may look like a lot, but it's really not. It's very, very light, okay? Then we're gonna go test it. And where are we gonna put our little star of Bethlehem? I guess we could put it Let's put it over here, right? We'll just make a little bit of a, just a little white circle, right? And that, because the blue is on there, it's going to change when we start to mix it and become this beautiful kind of blue aura, right? And that'll be around our star. Looks very cool, just like that. You don't want to do too much and make it too bright because then your white star won't stand out against anything, right? It's kind of got to be a little dark. Now let's come up with some clouds over here because I love my clouds. Gotta have the clouds, almost like we're writing in cursive, right? That ancient language that the, the youngins today don't know about. Cursive, right? We'll just flip it up all crazily, right? Because you can always blend it out. You don't have to make a perfect shape of anything. We just want to leave a little bit of dark in between our lights, right? Gotta have a little light underneath to drag upwards as we drag the dark down. And we're going to create this little bit of blending technique here. Don't even have to go off the side of the canvas. I say it all the time. Let me show you just real quickly what we're going to use today. It'll probably be about six tools. A two-inch brush, a one-inch brush, a liner brush, fan brush, palette knife, and a filbert brush. Just, just before we get too far ahead. We're going to take that same one-inch brush. We haven't washed it since we did this over here. And we're just going to start to mix. And the more we mix and the harder we push, the more that white is going to turn blue. And we're dragging down and then we're bringing, we're adding pressure down here to bring that color up. Right? So we're applying pressure and then kind of letting it blend. So we're pulling our brush away and then applying pressure again at the bottom all like this. So it's almost like we're, we're doing this and going in at the same time. It's kind of like rubbing your, your patting your head and rubbing your belly. See, I can't even do it now. So don't worry if it doesn't work out the very first time. It takes a little bit of practice to get it right. And every so often you need to go back and add little things. It looks like a black hole almost, right? So we can add a little bit of white in there and then we'll just blend that out and see what it looks like. And if we need to go back and add something else, then we can go back and add something else. If we want to make anything brighter, we can do that. Now this art off against Dean from Scenescape Shop, I wonder what he is going to paint. The theme is a Christmas painting, right? Well, that could be anything. It literally could be anything. So, told you guys right off the front, you've already seen the painting. I haven't even seen it yet. I'm literally making it up as we go along, right? So, you already know what it looks like, but I knew I wanted to paint a nativity scene, and I wanted to do it in a limited palette, because I love these limited palette blue, black, and white paintings. They're amazing. Man, that looks really good. And we came down far enough. 
that we don't really have to add a second cloud in there. We can just kind of take a little bit of a sand dune, chuck it off, and just kind of make the rest up, right? Maybe add a little bit wider right there, like it just brightened up. Poof. Yeah, just like that, a little bit of light, and you can drag it and shape it and twist it and pull it all sorts of different ways until you get it to look how you want it to look, right? Beautiful bit of cloud. Nice, soft, barely any paint, can't even see anything sticking off the canvas. And we've gone over it so many times that it's very soft and blended out. And I like that. You don't want to cover too much, though. The trick with painting a black canvas is that we don't cover too much black. You don't want to do too much. Do less, right? Do less. Do less. You don't have to cover the entire canvas. Then you lose the effectiveness of the black canvas, right? All right, let's start off with our star. We're going to go into liquid white, just get a fair amount of it onto our brush. Nice little bubble onto the brush here. Because we want to have, we want to leave a little bit of extra. We want to leave a little extra right on the edge of the brush so we can kind of shape it with our palette knife and make that Bethlehem star shape, okay? So we're going to go right into the center, make like a, you know, a fairly big enough circle and leave as much of that liquid white in the circle as you can. You know what I mean? That way when we take it with our knife, we'll be able to shape it. Okay, we're gonna come back. The reason I like using the knife is because it's the thinnest edge you're ever gonna find. You, I mean, you'd have to paint with a, a single hair of a brush to get that sort of fine of an edge, okay? We're gonna stick it right in the middle and right in the middle of the blade. And so we can go up and down and create that shape, okay? So right in the middle of the star, right in the middle of the blade, and then we're gonna drag it up and down, as long as you want, right? You get this, ooh, this twinkling, pew, little bing, right? Now you can go wipe your knife off because you don't wanna contaminate your lines, right? We're gonna go right back into the center, just like that, and we're gonna go out and back and out and back and make it just about the same distance as the vertical one. See, poof, just like that. Wipe off the knife again. We're gonna come back, hit the corners over here. Make them considerably smaller than the two larger ones, okay? Again, almost forgot, wipe the knife off. Go back, line it up. Boom, 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 until we have enough where you can see it. Bing, little shining star Bethlehem, right? What have you already gotten for Christmas? Or can you not tell me because your loved one or, you know, the recipient is sitting there next to you and won't allow you to tell me or you don't want to blow the secret. Okay, now we're going to blend out all those little lines that the palette knife left on the center of the circle. And then poof, you have this beautiful shining star off in the distance. Super Christmassy. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we have to put our manger directly underneath him. So you have to leave room, kind of plan out where you want your manger to be, because now it's got to be directly beneath that star. And it's going to be fantastic. We're going to try to paint it just like a cabin, but without all the walls, right? And see how it works out. Never painted one before, so we're going to try it. And uh, hopefully it turns out well enough that, you know, and I'll be able to explain it well enough that you'll be able to do it too. All right, what I want to do is have like a little bit of kind of light behind our manger source, okay? So we're gonna put the, the same kind of white, didn't get any more, it's whatever we had on the brush, we just pushed a little harder, so you know we took a little bit more of it from the, the edges there. I really wanna blend this out soft again. It doesn't have to be super bright, because we're gonna paint a silhouette over the end of it, right? So it doesn't have to be blazingly bright, it just has to be enough to when we put black over it, you'll be able to see the black. And that looks really good. And again, when you don't over mix it, you'll get all these cool little things that happen inside all on their own. And all you gotta do is leave it. Just don't do anything. Just leave it. Just walk away, walk away. Sit. I'll, I can't do that. You guys wouldn't tune into my channel if it was just a bare canvas up here all the time. All right, the further we work away without getting any more paint, the darker it's going to become. You see, it's starting to get darker, 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 darker until there's almost nothing left. And that's what we like. Again, we're trying not to paint too much. We don't want to cover too much of the canvas. 
So again, go back to that old dirty brush if you need to get a little bit more white. Instead of dipping this brush into the white, use something that you already have on there, and that way you won't put too much paint on, and you won't make this too bright so we can continue to stay nice and dark, right? Nice and dark. Dark for the holidays. I appreciate anyone and everyone who's purchased anything from my Etsy shop this season. It was a little slower than normal, but you know, COVID, everybody's running low and me especially, <laughs> definitely running low on funds. But uh, yeah, thank you to anyone and everyone. There's still time, but you, of course you won't get it for Christmas if you purchase it now. If you were to go click today, you wouldn't get it unless you live local in Las Vegas and I could meet up with you and pick it up. You could do something like that, but. Besides that, let's not get too crazy, guys. And I don't think we're gonna do too much of a, of even a mountain, right? If we did like, say, again, same old dirty brush, now we can see the majority of it is blue, right? There's not a lot of white left in there. Maybe looks white because of my super bright lights over here. So let's go back and get a little bit more. Just a little though, couple swipes into nothing, right? I didn't drag anything from this big pile. There wasn't a big glob of paint that got on there. It's just the residual stuff or just the little tips of the brush and then kind of pull it out. Just get the very small amount. It's all you need, because if it's too bright, you can't take it away, right? So start dark. Start with very small. You can always add and add and add and add to get the brightness that you want. But if, if you go in there with a big chunk of white, it's white forever. It's never gonna go away and it'll be too bright. Too bright for this scene anyway. So let's take, maybe we'll have like a bit of far off. Hmm. I wanted to incorporate the pyramids into this too, but just because I'm a pyramid geek and stuff like that, but I guess we won't. We'll just do like some soft little sand dunes or something, right? And coming down, right? Kind of pull it back just with the white, whatever white we have on our brush. We want this to be brighter than this back here, okay? So don't worry if it's a bit brighter. But again, you don't want it to be so super bright that you can't, you know, you lose all the dark and you can't get away. You gotta have it. All right, let's take this, pull it down into this little bit. And again, I want it to be brighter down here. So if it's not bright enough and this isn't dark enough, it's not gonna stand out. So we're gonna have to go back in and add some more paint, Josh. Again, not over mixing, leaving these little darker areas in here. Right? Especially initially, when we're just creating it, we don't really know what it's gonna look like yet. You don't wanna go in ham without, which means, you know, real hard with all of these big, thick globs of paint that you're not gonna be able to move. Okay, you can always shape it. You can do whatever you need to do and then you can go back in and fix, okay? So maybe we can see there's like a little bit here and we really don't even need to highlight it a whole lot. But again, you don't wanna cover over these dark areas too much, okay? You really need them in there. And that is what's gonna give us all those shadows. So we're gonna try to save some of that dark and put in another little line of light, okay? And this back here needed to be much brighter. Maybe underneath that star, we got this brighter area, which is gonna separate it from, separate those two bits of dark, right? Let's start over here, push it out. And it doesn't need to be super bright. It's just gotta be bright enough. Just bright enough, right? Maybe there's a little, little twinge of light up here on the top. If we can get any paint to come off, there we go. And you just don't want to overdo it. That's it. Just don't overdo it. Right? Here there's a whole other bit of land. Maybe these two bits connect. We don't even have to go off the edge of the canvas. You want this mystery back here. What's happening, right? You can even mix it up like our, our little bit of, uh, of clouds and fog and all this stuff. You want this mysterious area. So don't kill all the darks. We do need to fix this though. Ooh, that was, see, that's way too much. Even that little amount is too much. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. We're gonna go over here. See how I pulled it down like that and it just drug a whole bunch. I got too far into the pile. So we're just gonna try to get it off down here and just use whatever littlest bit. Cause we can always go back and add, right? You can always add something, right? Maybe there's a bit there. Maybe it wraps around, maybe this bit goes up higher. Who knows, they're little sand dunes. They blow all over the place. Right? Maybe these bits connect up here. Or now there's a little bit of shadow up on the top and we don't really know what's happening, right? Because we don't, I don't know what's happening right now. We're just painting. You know what I said to someone the other day? I said, 
these people who practice the same tutorial over and over and over and over and over again before they're ready to film it can never teach you anything. They can't teach you what to do if you make a mistake or what to do if this happens because they, they need it to be so perfect that, you know, you, you I teach by failure. I show you guys stuff that I have done and failed at because failure is the greatest teacher, as Yoda once said. But I like it. I like being able to show you guys, you know, oh shoot, this happened, so let's try to fix it. And I hope you guys appreciate that too. That's obviously why you're here at the channel, right? See, we almost need to get rid of this little bit of dark, or maybe make it not so dark and noticeable. There we go. See, it just wasn't making sense in my mind. Like, it just, it just wasn't happening there. Okay, now remember, not too much pressure over here as we pull out. Uh, one, because we don't want to go all the way to the edge. And two, because we're trying to retain some dark. And if we need to, we can go back in with that darker blue and kind of accentuate those shadows, right? Make them a little bit darker, a little deeper. So it adds a little bit of depth back there. I like whatever this is in here, so we're not going to get rid of all of that. All right, got our little bit. So you can see we've got a ridge that comes down. We've got our, our north kind of sloping face. Can even get rid of some of this too. We don't need all that shadow in there. See, it's almost too much shadow. I'm trying to do something, but with the sand, you know, with a mountain would work perfectly. With the sand dunes, I don't know. Touch it a little bit more. Just a little touch. Just enough to give it some kind of something. Right? Really trying to get some paint off of there. There we go. This is double, double fisting painting right here. See, it's still again not as white as I want it to be. There we go. So we just go back and play with it, right? Bam, make it nice and foggy down around the bottom. You can do the circles. You can do the crisscross strokes, just as long as you don't cover up too much black, right? Now we have this little bit of far off mountain back here, or sand dune, something, some kind of something. And we didn't go all the way to the edge. I can't see because of all this glare, but we didn't go all the way to the edge. And that's the good thing, because you really don't need to. Now we have all of this light area that we can pop a manger in back here and then throw some foreground bits in here. And it should look really, really neat, you guys. It really should. So. Ah, almost couldn't find the sucker. How to paint a manger when you've never done it before, okay? So if we think about it like a house or like a cabin, you're gonna have your one side there, right? So just in my mind, it's not making a mark on the canvas, I'm just kind of figuring it out in my head. If we have a side there, and then he comes up to here. This side, we're gonna see more of the slope, I would imagine, of the roof. So like more of the top. We can drop a leg down, drop a leg, create the front. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, and we're back, sorry. I don't even know, I might've left that in. Who knows when it comes to editing, right? All right, let's take the black and blue and we're gonna try to paint a little manger with a, with a palette knife. And if we need to, a brush. But I don't think we'll need to. It's, again, trying not to cover too much. And we're gonna try not to make anything too big either, which is why I like using a palette knife. You can grab a little roll of paint and that can be the size of your beam. You know what I mean? All right, so if we had here, and it was like this. Again, we're gonna make a 3D manger it's not just going to be this 2D thing with two legs. I don't like that, right? We need to see it from the side. We need to, we need to see it on an angle. So maybe we'll grab up a little bit of that. And maybe this side is our roof. Oh yeah, that's starting to look good. Right there. We can always highlight the roof later. So make it nice and dark. It's got to come down. It's got to be, you know, this one one palette knife's worth, and then kind of stop down around the edge. That is gonna look really, really good. To eat your heart out, Dean from Scenescape Shop. I am gonna try to win this one. See that? <laughs> it's just a roof. It's like, normally we do the cabin, the, you know, the, the sides, the walls first. So it's kind of doing it with imagining the walls are there and where to stop. I actually might start doing them like this to begin with, and then you know where to fill it in. Right? Getting the roof pitch correct is one of the hardest things that I see people struggle with. Uh, it's one of the biggest things I see people struggle with is getting that pitch 
correct. And then once you have your boards on, covering over your boards enough. Okay, and that looks really neat. Now, if we were to have the back side of the roof, right, that would come down to about there, is my guess. Right about there should be the back side. So what I want to do with that is fill it with a lighter color, right? Because we're going to put darker stuff in front. So we can't just go black on black on black on black on black. It just doesn't work. So let's make up a lighter color. Grab a little bit of that mixture that we made up and then a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. And we're going to make up this thing. And it's, it can't be super bright because it's under, first it's night. Secondly, it's underneath the eave of a house that's going to be dark. You know what I mean? And this is going to get highlighted, so it's not going to stay black like that all the time. We can actually get that going right now. A little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Not too much of anything, really. Not too much white, not too much blue. It's sort of mixed in with this gray that's over here, which gives us the shadowy blue that I like to use all the time. White, phthalo blue, and then the kind of mix of blue and black. Just not too much, right? Scrape some of that up, and let's go over here. And just drop it down onto our little roof. All right, come over, connect them again, come down, just like that. And that way we can at least see the color that the top of the roof is gonna be. And therefore, we know not to make the inside of the roof brighter than the top of the roof. That yeah, looks pretty good. I like that. Scrape up a little bit of that. Let's get a little bit more white for this side, just because it's in the light of the star, I guess. Just over the top, don't need a whole lot. Poof, now we have our the eave of our roof, right? It's too white, just go over it a couple times. Very, very carefully until you can kind of get the right kind of color you're looking for. You can even brighten this up a bit. There we go, let's get some white out, Josh. When we put it with this blue, it'll mix into all these little colors and differences. The more we go over it, the more it's gonna dull it down. So be careful. If you really want it to be white, can't go over it too many times. Right? But we don't want it to be super bright white anyway. Seeing as it's night, and this is the shadowy side, I guess you could call it, of this sucker. Anytime I look back and it's too uh, like bright white, you just go back over it a couple more times, a little bit of pressure, let it mix with that darker paint underneath, and you got yourself a deal. Boom. All right, Dean, what are we going to do here? Let's take this darker color. We're going to put it on the inside of the roof just to kind of block out any of that light blue that we would have seen before. All right, we're going to come down out there. And that way we have this dark, well, darker, you see what I mean? But it's not black. Darker bit of under roof that we can use. Now let's come in with that dark and we gotta pick out where our legs live, right? So maybe back here, we've got a leg that comes down, maybe like three and a half, four knife lengths, the, the small knife. Okay, come back, scrape up again. Now we've got another beam lives over here. And again, this is why we add that color into the background so there's something to look through these beams and see. Okay. This one that's in the front, I want to have a little bit thicker. So we're going to pull it a little bit more to the side. Now, where would our beam be back there? It's going to be there, I would imagine. Let's do the front just so we, can, uh, just so we have an idea we can see where it's going to be. Yeah, it's gonna be back there, right? It's gotta be. This one needs to move over a bit. I don't know what he's doing. So look, let's come back. I, it's because of all this glare, can't see anything. So we're gonna scrape up this little guy. See again, this is why we make mistakes, so I can show you how to do it, right? Get as much paint off as we possibly could. Gonna take a little bit of paper towel on the edge of our finger, push hard. Get rid of that guy. It's taking all the blue color away behind it as well, which is fine, all right? Back and forth a little, come back, and you can literally get rid of it. Change the whole thing, you can add more blue, you can come in from the side, just don't touch this other beam right here. And then poof, 
pretty much gone away for the most part, if you made the mistake, right? Now we're gonna come back in. Find the end of our, ah, there it is. It's over here, the end. Come on, Josh. It's not way over there, it's over here. All right, now we can put our last one in, which would be on the end of this guy. And so I'm wondering if I want to go down all the way. I mean, we sort of have to now. Because it's there, right? Poof. Does that look like a 3D building? Sort of. Let's make this a little darker. A little darker in the shadows, right? The shadows. Dean is in the shadows. Scenescape shop. Oh yeah, that looks better. A little bit darker. A little darker underneath. Got to get our little bit of dark line. It's like the bottom of our roof, right? Like that. Got to connect these guys. And bam, bam. Now again, we don't want to go too crazy because we're going to have to make these beams across. So I might want to really... I'm gonna really blend this guy out back here. All right, make him nice and soft, but still dark. So we're gonna have to go over it again. All right, let's do that. So those will connect. Okay. And take a little bit of white, go back into here, just to brighten it up. Because we're gonna throw a dark beam across it. So it needs to be a little bit brighter than the beam. Not super bright. Almost looks like maybe the the bit is kind of hanging over the edge. A little bit of straw roof, some thatch, some kind of something, right? Right, Dean? Dean always gives me crap about saying right. He's so mean to me, guys. So, so mean. All right, I like that. Now we have our little bit of roof. We've got the pitch. We need to fix that a little. It needs to be a little softer. All right, come in with our... Filbert brush makes it nice and soft. That bit's gonna come across there. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Now again, the focal point is not the uh, the roof or the pitch or anything itself. It's really the star in this photo. If we're not gonna paint baby Jesus, which I really wish I could, guys. I really wish I could paint baby Jesus for us, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I really don't think it's in the cards for this guy. You wanna know why the only reason I wouldn't do it is? Cause I, didn't, I wouldn't wanna give the poor little guy injustice. I paint landscapes. I am not a, a portrait painter. And if I were to try to paint, and not even portraits, just people in itself. And poor baby Jesus, he just wouldn't, he just would not like that. I already know, so we're not gonna add him. All right, we're gonna pull these legs out. Kind of on a little downward angle, actually. All right, a little bit down. Man, that looks neat, this abandoned. It's almost like, like stranger things need to be seen. No, no one hate me for that, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just likening it to it. All right, now we've made a little bit of blue, lighter colored blue over here, the blue and white, and then we'll make our beams, right? So why don't we do, we'll just highlight the side over here. You just wanna have a half of a dark side, right? It's gotta be half light, half dark. Maybe that side would be lit up over there versus over there, because the shadow, you would imagine you would get light on this side. Just the smallest bit though. Don't need a whole lot. It doesn't all have to look the same. We can go back, we can blend it over, we can do all sorts of stuff. Okay, it doesn't even, I, I'm making, that was totally an accident that it looked, you know, brighter underneath. Right, maybe this guy, he could only really see 
the bottom a little bit, but we're gonna do them. We're gonna do them up just a, just a touch, just the littlest bit. And it's just whatever is left on the knife anymore. There's barely any, there's a lot of dark you can see in there. So whatever comes off, comes off. Don't try to force it, right? We can always go back in, bring some of that dark from the, the dark side back towards the other side and kind of make it darker. Just like that, add a little bit of dark, changes the whole thing. Really, really nice, I like that. I like that a lot. There we go. This beam looks so big, it's gotta be out in front and it has to sit lower than everything else, right? It has to be a V from the front to the back, like a little cube that we made. Okay, now we could leave it like that, but it's missing this bit in the front. So with the paddle knife again, we're going to flatten out some black, scrape it up into a tiny little roll, and then we're gonna decide, it's gotta be on an angle, slight angle, not a big angle, just a slight angle. And we might cover up a lot of what we had back here. That's okay. And it's okay to cover it, totally fine. All right, now let's do this. And we add our bit of black beam in there in the top. One on this side, just right underneath our little snowy highlights. Right underneath, just touch it. Whatever will stick there is gonna stick. Don't try to force it too much. There we go, this beam at the bottom will make a little bit bigger than the rest of the beams. Let's see, there we go, it's so pretty. All right. We got this beam in the front. Now we'll throw, let's do this. I don't want it to get on my entire knife, right? So we're gonna wipe the knife off and just scrape it up on the front side. You can see where my pile of paint is. Just gonna scrape so we just have it on the front side of the knife, right? Don't have to dip the whole knife in every single time. And that way we can make our little beams. Just like that. Let's do it this way. I always like pulling down away from anything and that way I can always fix something underneath. That doesn't look too shabby for never painting a, a manger before and doing it with a knife. Give me some credit, guys. Hit that share button for me. Hit the share button for me one time if you like that. If you just scroll to this part and you're like, let's see what this dude does with this beam and you saw that, then hit that like button for me. Share this post. Do something. There we go. Again, just half of those things too. You're like, oh no, Josh, we got a little bit of white underneath. It's okay. If we can come back in, we can shape it. We can make this as straight as an arrow. Bing, bang, boom. Again, you don't want to cover up all those dark bits, right? Got to save some. Got to have some dark on, you know, even your beams. You got to do it. You send me a picture it's all super bright i mean like guys you didn't listen you gotta have dark where's your dark because you need it hang it over just a little oh man now with a limited palette give me some credit that looks nice all right again we're not even going to focus too much on it going to take a little bit of white maybe underneath Let's try to leave a shadow under the beam. So let's pull to the side. Again, not covering all the dark, very, very, very small amount of paint. And we'll pull to this side, maybe adding our bit of ground in, right? So maybe back here, it's not really gonna see all of it. Leaving that straight line against the beam. Maybe it's lit up back there, who knows? Make it a little bit foggy if we want to just to kind of blend it in with what was above back there. And then we can come back in, make our straight lines. Just blending it until we like the way that it looks. That's really it. I'm pulling it out, see what it looks like. See what we gotta go back in and fix. See what we gotta wanna make softer, what we wanna make brighter. What we wanna make darker or lighter as well. It doesn't all, you don't just have to suffer with what's there. 
can always change it up, right? Let's get some of that white over here, like some of that cloud just continued on and try not to touch our beams. That's the hardest part about doing this afterwards. Try to get it done before, right? Jeez, Josh, make it hard on everybody. I don't mean to, guys. I don't mean to. There we go. A little bit of dark underneath that guy. Looks kind of neat. I really like it. Now, let's come up with some foreground here. Now, maybe there is like a little bit of a path that leads away from the manger, right? We can do that. We can do whatever we want. It's our little world. So let's do that. Let's grab a little bit of the white again. We're gonna make up a whole new color, mix it with just a little bit of this kind of dark gray color, and it'll be it'll become a new shade, right? A little bit lighter color than we have up here, just a little. Now maybe, maybe right underneath Jesus right there, comes out, maybe the littlest bit, gets a little bit wider, and then, Maybe we've got some steps that lead up. Maybe. Maybe in yours you don't have steps. Maybe you don't have room for steps. Maybe you do. Right, so this goes off that way. Trying to maintain a bit of dark, a disconnect from the color, right? Gotta have that disconnect. Talk about it often. So make sure you check out Dean's channel too after you go watch this video and then you vote for my painting, of course. Then you go check out Dean's channel and then uh, tell him paint with Josh sent you. Let's drop like, oh, maybe it sits up on a little ledge up there. Oh yeah, like a little pillar, some kind of something, right? And just from smushing it on, we don't have to really do anything. Different shapes, right? Up and down, side to side. Maybe there's a bit, whatever's left on my knife, see that? It's just, it's the smallest amount. There's really nothing there, but it's just enough to show up against all that dark. Look at that. It's look like it's sitting up on top of a rock. We could have some like a wave crashing in here if you want to. We <laughs> could go. We could go just crazy. I'm gonna pull these down straight down because if we pull them to the side, then they're gonna look like they go to the side, like these guys. And you don't want them to look like that. You want them to look like they're going straight down. At least I do, because I like the way that looks. And also, we're trying to keep it dark, right? So that again, what I say. Listen to what I say. Don't. What is it? Do as I say, not as I do. Because I just went in, grabbed a little bit of paint, and now look at that. That's way too bright for that spot. So again, come on, Josh. Where's my paper towel? I don't want it to be that bright. We're going to try to wipe a little bit of it away. Spread it out in these circles. But as you're doing that, you're taking away liquid clear, too. So it won't act the same in there. you really got to go over it. There we go. Kind of bring some of that liquid clear back over that little section. That was really, really, really neat. I am pleased. Okay, and the more and more we go over this, the softer it's going to become. I wanted to leave a little bit out on the edge like that. Again, we want differences in it. We don't want to have it all be the same. And that's probably even too bright, Josh. What have you done? What have I done? What have I done? Anyone watch uh, Nightmare Before Christmas? Gotta give you guys a little bit of the singing talents. The hidden singing talents of Josh. All right, just gonna try to, this one wasn't long enough as I wanted, just try to blend him down a little bit. And that way we have this light, dark, light, dark, and it's almost like we've got these steps that the three magi can climb. You guys are like, oh, Josh swears like a sailor, but, Josh was raised religious, guys. If you would believe it, I was raised Mormon. I haven't practiced in a long time, but it doesn't mean that I wasn't raised Mormon, and I know. And I know the differences between Christianity and Mormon and Catholicism and all that, so don't tell me. I don't want to hear any hate. Just, you know, it's Christmas. It's Christmas time, guys. You got your religion. I don't even have a religion, but I was we taught one. Okay, so either way. Got to have the three magi going up to see baby Jesus on his little platform. Or maybe they're early. Or maybe everyone's not there yet, right? We can make up whatever we want in our in our little world. But I love that. My goodness. I don't even want to finish it. <laughs> like, it is so nice. Man, baby Jesus. My, my man. My dude. All right, we got to do something. Though. Even if we add just the smallest bit so it's not 100% black that that still looks black to you guys but man i am i am i'm happy i'm happy with that how would we paint 
the little the little manger bed. How would we do that? Or should we do that? I don't think so. Dean is very good with painting people and stuff, so he might do that. But I don't know. I think if I did it, it would. I just even if you guys were all like, "Well, it's the best thing I've ever seen. It looks amazing." It just in my head, I'm very you know critical of myself, and I just know I wouldn't like it if I tried to do it. What we do need, though. Another little step down here at the bottom. Or maybe that just all blends in with the land that's down there. And again, we're going to work this. Kind of push it, pull it away. Ooh, that looks cool too. It's like a little platform almost. Little platform, guys. Just because we pulled down and then under. So we have this little difference. And I say it all the time. Come on, my fans, where are you at? Type it in the comments. What do I say? You have to have differences in what? I'm waiting. I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to wait for you to say it. And if you're brand new and you don't know, differences in color, right? So even though we're just using blue and white and black, right? We have differences. Dark blue, light blue, darker than that blue, really dark. You know what I mean? Like really bright, really bright. You have to have differences. It brings... Catches people's attention, grabs their eye. I want to have a little bit of dark, just a disconnect again. A little bit of dark line that disconnects the, the land itself from any bit of that fog back there. All right, so maybe we'll bring it straight over. We're just coloring it in. Don't need to, don't need to go crazy, but we don't want to have it look like it just goes off into the cloud back there, which isn't even a cloud. It's a bit of mountain and some fog and stuff like that. Okay, got our steps. We need to bring, see how this step is much more giant. We can either sneak another step in there or we can bring this one up. Let's sneak another one in there. Very small amount of paint, because again, it's gonna wanna grow and the bottom step is longer than the other steps are, right? Right, Dean? Give me crap. There we go. Just very lightly. I don't want these guys to really go and touch anything. Like over here, it sort of did. So now it looks like there's another little bit of that dark disconnect in there before this. And those are touching. And then we have this bit that's maybe the land. We've got some shadow underneath there. It's really, it's really cool. It almost looks like Roman. Like if I could do these Roman pillars like this, it's really neat. I really like it. Okay, let's keep it dark. Let's not do too much, too crazy, right? <laughs> right, Dean? Every time I say it, Dean's in my head now. I want to bring this down, but maintain that disconnect. Maintain this disconnect, 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 disconnect. You don't want to have just bright everywhere, right? Right? Freaking Dean. Right. Okay. Let's see, why do I even do these art offs with Dean? He's just, he's just mean to me. There we go. A little bit of extra brightness kind of on the edge of the step. So there's a little bit of that dark blue behind it and then the real, the black. And it's just on the edge, we don't even have any more. A little bit more, Josh, right out there. Oh, just that little line. And then we just wanna be very soft with them. Very soft, bam, bam, bam. Just so we even have like five or six different bits of blue in here. Really looks cool. And the harder you push, the more they'll move, okay? So when it starts moving, you're like, ooh, this looks really cool. And you keep pushing and you keep pushing and then you ruin it. Because I've done it, I've done it before. We almost need a disconnect right here, don't we? A bit of like something. Let's get a little bit of dark. Come down, maybe there's a, that is way too much dark, Josh. Way too much. We're gonna have to scrape that off. Get underneath it, go up a little this bit. Now let's pull it out and down. Make it almost, remember I was saying like a pyramid, like a little step pyramid almost. Just so we have those little different, yeah, that doesn't even look how I want it. Doesn't look like it does in my head. Okay. So let's get that dark, right? We're gonna make our disconnect right here on our hill. So we have this little bit, 
Really gonna blend that out. We don't want it to be that dark, right? Make it nice and soft as we go down, pushing real hard, right? Doesn't make sense, nice and soft, but we're pushing real hard because we want the paint to disperse more and become softer. Now, we're gonna come back in. A little bit of that lighter color, save some of that dark line, not a whole lot of paint, just very little bit. Right, you can even scrape it, really like mush it in just a little. And then we're really gonna push hard again, but again, try to keep that dark line. Don't let this paint go above that dark line, but you'll have to start over. There we go. Now this becomes our, our sand, right? Our little ridge of our sand and that black line back there is the distance between the next little ridge. It, making it real soft. And again, you do yours how you like, however you want to do it. I really like, it's like the sand is blowing over these steps, the long forgotten place where Jesus was born. It's really cool. I really like it. I got to stop now, right? You got to stop, Josh. Even make this, add that dark in. extend our steps a little bit off into like the, the shadow, right? Add that dark, blend it, push it, move it until you like the way that it looks, right? Oh, that's neat. Now it's almost like fog is rolling down the hill, but we almost need one more, one more step up, don't we? Another little step up to here. See what batter looks like. Again, you can always blend it out if you didn't like it. So, but I tend to like that. That doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna add that little bit of dark under there, right? And we got this whole level on top. Pulling these straight as we can get them to our horizon. Oh, there's the dark bit of color. Right, getting it in that dark area. And now we've got these other little steps. We can fix this bit, kind of blend it how we want. Now we have these steps that they can climb up to. That's really, really cool. And I might add something right over here in the front. What to add though? Can't just put a rock or a tree like normal, right? Maybe we just let it fade out into nothing. That looks cool. That looks cool. And that's what I do. We paint stuff that looks cool around here. So if you're like, wow, that looks cool. I want to try to do that. Then you are in the right spot. Hanging with Josh, right? Merry Christmas to all and may all paint with Josh. That's right. That is right, Dean. Dino. All right, let's do... We kind of lost the brightness back here between our underneath our manger. So we're going to put that back in. A little bit of that light color blue in there, but nothing too crazy, right? It's very cool. You don't want to cover all those shadows. Can't cover all the dark, but I want to do, I want to blend this in so it's, it doesn't look like another step, right? There we go. That's very cool. Very cool. Very cool. And it's nice and blue and very cool. There we go. Now we can put something here. We could do all sorts of something. We could do all sorts. All right. Now our sky looks a little lonely, just up there all on its own. So very little amount of paint. You can always go back and get more. You don't want to have too much. Otherwise you're going to end up with a giant star like this one. And that's not necessarily what we want. We're trying to make little far off stars, just the touch of a, the tip top. I mean, you can touch them so small that you can barely see them and then have just a, a little too much pressure and they become so giant, right? We want them all over the place, but the ones around this star, we don't want to have too bright. So just make them the teeniest little dots that you can, shit. <laughs> well, that one's bright now because my thing slipped. Just the smallest little dots that you can make all over the place. And the more you push, the more it's gonna, the bigger it will become, right? I like kind of going 
Maybe you do a few over here, kind of go to the next spot, go over there, go over there. That way you don't get them too much all the same. They're not all in the same spot. They're not all the same shape or they're not in these straight lines because we tend to want to make everything grids, which doesn't really work for our sky now, does it? I do it all the time. I'll look back and I'll go, man, those three, even though I went boop, 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 all over the place, all ended up in a straight line. And I don't know why, and some of the times it's very irritating. Let's see. Just very small amount of paint. Then we're gonna throw our glitter on, and that's gonna give us all these beautiful, very teeny tiny nighttime stars. Let's throw a couple underneath here too. Real far off. Like the cloud just kind of snuck in. There's a few that kind of poke through the dark areas of the cloud. All right, we can even incorporate Orion into this guy just based on those three stars right there. That's gonna look cool. Even though we just did Orion, but it's fine. All right, look, we'll do him up here. Got his head, got his little shoulder, got his little guys, boop, boop. There's like four in his thing, got his legs down here. Yeah, we got Orion. But I don't want him to be the focal point of the piece, so we're gonna keep that guy nice and bright. And again, now that we've gone in and touched all over this place with all this blue on the canvas, all of our stars are changing colors. They're not all white. Some of them are blue. Some of them are, you know, very bright. Some of them aren't so bright. They are awesome. And then you can come back up here and add a bit of blue in the places where we don't have any blue stars. That looks really, really neat, guys. I really like it. It's very special. I knew this one was going to be a special piece. Just because we're doing baby Jesus. We got to have a special piece. I'm going to make these a little bit bigger. Just so they, just if, it, if any star buff is watching or looking at it in the future, they'll be like, ah, I see what he did there. He snuck all old Orion in there and made him just a little bit bigger than the rest of those stars. Got his little knife sheath. He's looking good. I really like that one. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Don't get too close to your, your main star, though. You want to have him shining bright, but he can't be so alone that there's nothing else in the sky, right? Right, Dean? Dean knows. I hope you guys vote for me in the art off. This is the last art off of the year against just me and old Dino boy. And uh, again, really hope you guys vote for mine in the in the art. This looks fantastic. I'm gonna leave it just like that. It's literally great. I can't think of anything else to do. Anything else that I can think of is just gonna get. It's gonna ruin it for me. And uh, I, that is just fantastic. It is just fantastic. I'm really gonna mush this on back here. Just to fill in that edge because it was like the sand went to the edge of the canvas but the, the little rocks holding everything up didn't. And we're going to go over it and over it and over it and over it and over it so it blends that down and becomes the color that I want really is what the, the goal is. All right, we can even do that with these. Maybe pull those down the slightest bit. Nah, it's not going to work. Don't do that Josh. It's not going to work. Bam, bam, bam. Because we use such a little amount of paint, you can't even tell that we were in there messing around with it. So, there is nothing else to add to this one except for my family, of course, together for Christmas. Let's see, nice and far. Bam. And there we go. Not even the focal point. My daughter always says, Dad, you can't even see me in the paintings. And I'm like, well, that's because you're very small. And I don't want you to be very bright. And it's the third bird, you know what I mean? So it's, they get less bright as it goes off. But it's nothing personal, dear. It's nothing personal. She was very mad at me, so I had to go back and brighten that little guy up. But besides that, guys, it looks fantastic. Last thing we can do, hit it with like some $3 glitter. What's this, Recollections? I got it at uh, Michael's, extra fine glitter. Um, really easy, comes out very fast. So be very careful, okay? And what I like to do is drop this back a little bit. That way it's not so vertical. 
It gives me a little bit kind of room for the, the glitter to catch, you know what I mean? Now again, not too much, maybe like two, two little psh, psh, dabs, okay? Here we go. Like this, like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, again, I didn't listen to myself, but that's only because I can see how it looks. But all you need is one too many, and pff, that's all, it's too much. So trust me when I say that uh, take it easy with the glitter. Man, that looks pretty, guys. Look at that. I mean, you can see it. At least I can from this other camera. It's picking up all these little blue glitter bits. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, let's get a signature on this guy. Let's put him over here this time. Just nice and small and out of the way. Don't want my, and this one's gonna be in blue versus bright white, because I don't want anything to take away. I don't want your attention to be taken away from this piece right here. This is, doesn't matter. We can do this again a hundred times and it'll be different every time. But uh, man, I really like this one. I hope you guys do. Uh, th th I hope you like it as well. And I really hope you give it a try. And poof, just like that, we're ready for Christmas. Wow. All right, well, again, thanks for uh, watching. I really hope you try this one. I hope you, you know, I hope I was able to teach you something, maybe with the star, the clouds, maybe the sand dunes, the steps, how we got our cliff over here. There's many, many things that uh, one would struggle with that uh, we went over in this video. So I really hoped you liked it. And, um, you know, get yourself some $3 glitter. It really makes a difference. It really does in person. It's fantastic, but be careful. Be careful with your liquid clear. When you're using paint thinner, you can get this crazy reaction that you don't want to have. And, uh, you know, I hope you've sent your gifts to my address, Paint With Josh at Paint With Josh Street, uh, yeah, in Las Vegas. So, no, I'm just kidding. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. And uh, it's I, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. This year, I've seen this crazy amount of growth and crazy amount of numbers watched. We had almost a half a million minutes watched in 2021, which to me is crazy because I made this channel and no one watched the videos. Like not a single person was watching my stuff. So I really appreciate you, specifically you watching this right now. Uh, I almost started to cry. No, I really appreciate it. Also, as this is part of the art off and it's Christmas, go over and check out Dean's channel, uh, youtube.com slash C slash scenescape shop. Like a scene escape, right? Or a landscape, scenescape, shop. Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Dean. It's a great name. Great marketing. Okay. Uh, besides that, you know, we got one more. Uh, actually, this will probably be, no, we'll have one more video. I'll probably go live after Christmas. Um, we've been knocking out Christmas paintings like crazy this, this month. So this is probably my favorite one though. Not too difficult and uh, nice and easy and you know, we had a good time while doing it, learning all sorts of stuff. So really hope you guys try, liked it. Try it. Go like Dean's page, like his Facebook. He doesn't have many Facebook followers, guys. So go like his Facebook page. Give him some love. He's beating me on subscribers. So all of your, all of his subscribers that are watching me now, thank you. Click the subscribe button. I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, he's beating me on subscribers, but go give his Facebook page some love if you can. And uh, he's a good dude out of England. Does some great stuff. He's probably painted a better painting than I have. And I'll just have to submit to the end of the art off for this year uh, with a loss, but we'll see. We'll put it in the Bob Ross Oil Paintings for Beginners group. So go over there. Uh, if you're not a member, you join for free. It's very easy, just click join. Uh, I'll approve your, your join and you can go in and we do these, I think on the 22nd, we'll do the art off and uh, you vote on your favorite. So vote for mine, of course, go in that, that group, vote for mine. Say, I vote for Josh. He's the best ever, and he's helped me so much. And Merry Christmas to you all, and to all paint with Josh, right? Yes, that's going to be my new tagline. I wish it was Christmas all year. Merry Christmas to all, and to all paint with Josh. That's how we do it. That's how we're going to end the videos. So, all right. But, uh, yeah, uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you open up all your gifts, and you get all new painting supplies, and you come back to the channel and grab everybody you know and tell them about the channel so we can all paint together and just have a great 2022, right? So we'll see you one more time. Uh, I think one day, yeah, the day after Christmas, we'll go live with all of our new gifts. Like, probably nothing, but it's fine. And, uh, yeah, so give it a try. Post it to Facebook. Tag at Paint with Josh when you do, and it will tag my page, so I'll be able to see it wherever you post it. 
And uh, yeah, all right, well, no more battling on. We'll say goodbye. And you guys have a fantastic Christmas and have the rest of a good new year if uh, I don't see you until New Year's Eve, right? So I just, I, it's, I think it's these paint fumes. Maybe I snorted glitter. I don't know what it is, but we'll say goodbye. And uh, you guys have the rest of a good day and we'll see you later. Pow for 2021. Pow, it's gone. Ba Pow. I'm an idiot. See you later. Blue, black, and white, and just knock it out of the park. Have fun, you know, I, I just love you. Besides that, have a very Merry Christmas, and uh, you know, a Merry Christmas to all, and to all, paint with Josh. Yes, oh, I love it. <laughs> the final art off of the year between Scenescape Shop, Scenescape Shop, and paint with Josh, right? Merry Christmas to all, and to all, paint with Josh. Hey, it's, <laughs> okay, up on my tippy toes. Suck it in, project the chest. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> I always do that. Uh, all I want for Christmas is my two foot, my art off wins. Yeah, let's do that. Hey guys, welcome back to Paint with Josh. It's the 22nd, it's almost December. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all and to all Paint with Josh. Hey, it's welcome to the show. Today we did a 16 by 20 inch canvas, black canvas, Blue, black, and white. Man, there's going to be a lot of bloopers in this one, isn't there, Josh? Is there paint? I'm going to... There can't be paint. I don't think it's paint. I don't know what it is, but I don't know how long it's been there. That's embarrassing. <laughs>